Hey guys, Moan Pobert here, and today we're going to talk about how to turn around a failing business. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moan Pobert, and I'm here to share and document my journey. I'm here to share with you what worked for me, what didn't work for me in the last few years. Was I was involved in more than 10 businesses. I made money, lost money, and I want to share with you things that uh, worked for me so you won't have the same learning curve that I had, and you can basically go through things faster. So... This is what this channel is all about alongside basically me sharing and documenting the fact that you can grow your business by acquisitions, by buying other businesses and it can even be your first business. You can just go and buy a business. We're probably also going to talk eventually on some organic way to grow a business because basically there are two ways to grow your business. One of them is organically by doing more sales, more marketing, have better structures, better processes, knowing how to hire the, the right people. And there's another way of growing by acquisition, by buying competitors, by buying revenues, basically. So this is what this channel is all about. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos because I'm posting daily. And yeah, see if you want to get some more value, go to moanpaber.com forward slash quiz. But otherwise, let's get to today's topic. So how do you turn around uh, a failing business, basically? And here's the thing with businesses. If you look at most of the businesses, and I'm looking at many, many businesses on a weekly basis, you'll find out that most businesses are basically semi-distressed. They're having a hard time. Uh, they're basically don't know how to manage systems right way. They don't have the right people many times in the right seats. And they basically don't know how to manage cash flow. And in the end of the day, the main reason why businesses have to shut down is because lack of cash flow. I Like, show me one business with unlimited amount of cash flow and I'll show you businesses will basically stay forever. But when you don't have cash flow, you can't pay your supplies, suppliers, you can't pay your employees and you can't do any marketing or advertising campaigns. You basically can't, you can't buy inventory, you basically can't run a business, right? So whenever you don't have cash, you basically eventually, um, you don't have much time left before you don't have a business, right? So how do you turn around your business so you have a good business that trade in a good way so you can sustain it for many years, uh, make a lot of money for yourself, for your uh, loved ones and also for all the other shareholders and employees and everyone involved in the business. So this is what I want to expand on. And the biggest, biggest problem that I see is that I see people who literally spend their life savings into starting those businesses and not just their life savings, but also literally life savings or their families and forget about their savings. They're even putting their house in there and they're putting personal guarantees and basically everything they can in order to take that risk and start their business. And it's a very, uh, like I'm admiring those people who take so much risk, but then there's a lot at stake and unless they have the right understanding of business, like they put everything they have and they think that, okay, I, I threw everything I have, I burned the boat and now they think that they're going to be successful without doing the extra effort of learning and understanding how a business really works. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's not easy to turn around those businesses because the fundamentals are wrong. If you're about to shut down your business because your lack of cash flow, because you don't have, uh, I guess, a good business, you don't know how to make sales. And even if you're making sales, you don't know how to sustain your cash flow in a way when you're not spending more than you're bringing in, basically. And all of the other business fundamentals, if you don't have those fundamentals, it's not easy to turn around a business if you're existing for a few years with bad fundamentals. And then I don't care who who's going to come into your business and try to save it. It's going to be difficult. Like you need to understand that's a hard work to turn around a distressed business. And I'm getting offers to buy distressed businesses all the time. I can buy businesses for one dollar down or one pound down or whatever the, the currency in that country is. Uh, but many times I just don't take those offers because I know that the work to turn them around is it's very difficult. And many times I need to be really, really involved in the day to day of the operation of trying to turn those around. And it's not easy. It's really, really not easy. And what happens that eventually, I mean, to turn them around and make them successful, like, so, so here's what I see with, with distressed businesses, right? I see people who try to buy those distressed businesses and then they waste six to 12 months to try to turn them and turn them around. And eventually they can't make it and they have to liquidate the business and shut it down. And they just wasted six to 12 months of their life um, without making, basically making no money at all whatsoever, right? And that's why when I'm looking to buy businesses, we're looking to buy right now, we're helping others, we're suggesting them to look for profitable businesses so they can take money from day one. And maybe the initial 
process to buy those businesses will take longer but eventually when they buy they will make money from day one so that's what i suggest but either way let's get back so what do we do with a distressed business and we need to turn them around what are obviously i can't get into too much details here but in this short video i want to give you kind of like good fundamentals and good understanding of where to begin with even so the first most important thing you need to understand is your numbers Talk to your accountants, get all of the numbers you can about that business, get the PL, the balance sheet, the cash flow numbers, understand exactly what's going on. Most of the people that I talk to who are business owners, I'm talking seven figure owners, seven figure businesses owners, they don't know their numbers. They don't look at their PL or balance sheet at all and they just trust their accountant. And remember, your accountant job isn't to tell you what's going right or wrong. Their only job is to basically track data. That's all. That's all they're doing. And that's their job. You don't you can't complain complain. You need to take responsibility 100% and get those numbers first and have a, an objective understanding of where your business is at. Look at the PL, look at the balance sheet. Where are you at right now? Are things looking good? Are things looking bad? Just from looking at things in an objective set of eyes and looking at your numbers and understanding, okay, this is the numbers, and look at them really objectively, like if you were look at other someone else's businesses and look at them and see what's going on. And really, that's the first thing. Just see where you're at right now and make a, a full, take a full responsibility and understanding that you want to see exactly where you're at. Even if it's the worst uh, scenario ever, you need to know where you're at. Now, after you have the understanding of where you're at, start to make projections for where things are going to be in the next few weeks, the next few months, based on uh, your understanding of business in terms of revenues, of expenses, of profits, of everything, of how you're going to basically manage your assets, if it's receivables, if it's payables. You need to know exactly what's going to happen and have some kind of a cash flow projections and understanding of when exactly you're going to get cash flow in and how that's going to sustain your business and what exactly you're going to do with that cash flow. Because your main first responsibility and goal is to bring in cash. Whatever you do, you need to get to a point where you know cash is going to come in. Obviously, you need to make sales and we're going to dive into that a little bit more. But cash flow, guys, you got to have projections to know where exactly you're going to go. What are your expenses and when exactly cash is going to come into your bank account? Now, it's going to be uncomfortable. Get ready to be uncomfortable. If you're really uh, close to insolvency, you need to make really deep cuts many times in your expenses and many times it means firing people and many times it means cutting on really really uh, crucial things in the business but you need because you need to cut many things to only keep the crucial things to the business which is to bring in cash flow and if you see bad things going on you gotta cut on expenses everything you can cut on expenses sell things many people have those huge offices with bullshit in them you can get like 20, 30, 50 grand many times just from selling some of that bullshit on eBay. Like literally, that alone is cash flow to sustain you for some times. Um, many times you need to fire people. And yeah, when you fire people, it's, it's not comfortable, but do that if needed and take care of those people. Try to find them other interviews with other people, really show that you care. But in the end of the day, you gotta do it for the greater good for the success of your business. If you're not gonna take care of your business, if the business is gonna shut down, everyone is gonna be sad in the end of the day because no one's gonna have jobs. So you need to cut some people if they're basically not necessary to continue with the business. Now, there are many other small things we can do. You can talk to suppliers and ask for better terms. Just tell them, hey, look, this is this. Then be honest. I think be open and honest is really important in this stage. Don't hide before, behind a, a front that's basically walking up like everything is good. Talk to your suppliers. Tell them, hey, here's what's going on. We are in a very bad scenario. Talk to your customers and ask to get paid faster. Tell them, hey, we're having some struggles with cash flow. We need those cash flow right now. I'll give you some discount and try to get better terms there. So with payables and receivables, really pay attention to those and see that that's basically the first things you can do to get cash flow. If you need to save and have better cash flow, also sometimes just literally stopping your marketing or advertising costs can actually be the best thing you can do because you can tell your salespeople to just focus on selling to existing customers and that's you basically there you won't have any expenses of bringing a first client again and again, which is one of the biggest expenses. So that alone can help you. Um, but in the end of the day, obviously we can dive into many things and I can talk about it forever, but it comes down to people, process, product, right? What can you do with, people, with your people? To be honest with them, tell them, hey, here's what's going on and have meetings with them and ask for their advice. Help them, hey, what do you think we can do to bring in more cash flow, to have better terms with suppliers, with customers? 
and be honest with them and tell them, hey, I really need your help here. I need, need, really need you to step up. That's with your people, with your process. What can you do with your process to only focus on your one most important, best, profitable process to bring in new customers or new revenues or basically more sales into the business? Focus on that. So people, process, then product. What can we do to add more value to our people either at the same price or sometimes just adding or just increasing the price of our product or service can alone help a lot because that increase in price is basically all going to go down to our bottom line to our profit so those are few key fundamentals you can start with um, that's what i would do if i were you but in the end of the day remember it's about focusing on cash flow and then it's it all comes down to your fundamentals guys like you're at the stage with your business because you don't have you lack the fundamentals and if you don't have the fundamentals it's going to be really hard to scale things and obviously sustain things um, as they are even right now so and if you want help with that guys and you want me and our team to help you go to moanpober.com forward slash quiz see the things where uh, basically your situation there and click on where what suits you uh, other than that guys i hope you enjoyed these videos like subscribe hit the notification button so you won't miss, miss new videos and yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon